In this video, I am going to be talking about top flange hangers and how they can affect the floor sheathing or create even some structural problems. So let's go ahead and take a look at one type of top flange hanger. And with this hanger here, the joist will be flush with the top of the beam. And of course, with the bottom of the beam, except you could end up with the flange sticking up and creating problems for the floor sheathing. And most of the time, this isn't going to be a big deal. However, I came across a video where this part of the top flange looked like it was about a quarter inch thick, and that would definitely be something to think about. So what the individual did to solve this problem was to notch out a section of the beam so that the hanger would fit and wouldn't create a problem. However, you can see here where the joist is a little lower. Now, this isn't always going to be the case because most of the top flange hangers I've seen when installed properly allow for the joist to be even with the top of the flange. However, I have seen some of them where you run into a situation like this, whether it's the wrong size lumber or the incorrect hanger. And of course, notching into the beam can create problems for the hanger below, especially if you're going to be finishing the ceiling below with some type of plasterboard or drywall. Next up, let's take a look at a situation where the joist is even with the top of the flange. And if you notch everything, it's going to be fine. So in a situation like this, I think you wouldn't have a problem. However, I would definitely check with the structural engineer on record before doing it to make sure that the calculations for the beam will work with the project. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at something that I've done before, and that would be to take a look at something I've done before, and that would be to install a small strip of plywood. And I believe when I did it, I think I had to use some type of a door skin or a veneer material. And I'm not about to suggest something like this is going to work all the time. However, you might be able to make it work sometimes by just simply lowering the beam a little bit. Or making minor adjustments to the wall framing or other structural components on the project. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.